going to give you a little walk round now. Um, people don't realise how committed these young boys are. We're here at the venue, which is an hour and a half away from uh, from uh, home, as you could call it. And then that's an hour and a half year, hour and a half back. So this three hours wasted. So this time we decided to camp. Um, the ground is in a bit of a mess, it's very slippery and muddy. But after practice is over, you then, and all the boys now, mind who camp out when they're racing, they now got to prep the bikes, ready for the race tomorrow. Because it's winter and it gets dark really quick. So we wash the bike off as best as we can, and it, to be honest with you, it is pretty good. But it just fell over per day, so I've had to move it to you. So it was muddy. So that wasn't much fun. But uh, basically now we're going to change the tyres because obviously these are practice tyres, not racing tyres. So we've got to change them over to get the best grip as we possibly can for tomorrow. Um, if you've got super duper grip, you can quite often get the all shot. You've got a better chance of getting the all shot with really good grip tyres, obviously, than slick tyres. So, uh, and this is one of those events where it is very, very slippery. There was sleet and snow here last night, and the ground is just literally unbelievable. I fell over twice and nearly crashed the Range Rover. I was coming down this hill by here. I nearly went down this bank in by here. Uh, it wasn't fun, but uh, after a slight bit of alterations and my off-road skills, I managed to save myself and my family so we can ride another day. Um, and just over the brow is Charlie Frost. And Charlie Frost and his father, Tim Frost, obviously, are over the brow and they're prepping their bike ready for tomorrow. Um, so there's a lot of commitment and it's four degrees at the moment I'm sure it's gonna be a lot colder at the night but I've got a, a really good suit on to keep me warm while I do these bits and bobs um, so that's basically it so the commitment these boys throw into this for all you sponsors out there and everybody else all right you might stick a sticker on the bike saying you know your name or tires or or whatever but you've got to understand what all these boys go through every weekend they go through hell in the winter, not in the summer. And to help me along with this hellish winter night, I bring along my little friend. A can of Guinness. And it helps wonders. So Guinness, if you want to sponsor me, not bad me now, I'm quite happy to drink 28 cans a week, at least, to keep on going. CTR, winter series, round three. Two hours yet before he uh, needs to make his mind up. And, uh, mighty fine day at CTR Winter Series Round 3. What we've done is uh, Brad's bike literally froze up in the night after we washed it. So he's put it down in the sun to, uh, for it to all melt off and, and work. So, most of them are parking up on the bank and up there, it is so slick that you're going to fall over or come down to our field, over our bank and down over our bank end. So I'll have to keep the camera ready just in case someone does, because it'll be a hell of a video. So, I'm on my other camera now because uh, my iPhone's not charging properly, so uh, here we are, CTR Winter Series around three, and the bike's coming in. Now, this is one hell of a slippery track. It is unbelievable, you could say. The, the surface is so slick, and then the ground is slightly frozen, but I think the sun will defrost that soon. But it's a hell of a track. The track is absolutely fantastic. This is a new venue for CTR, and um, it's promising, promising to be a really good event. So we got the pits and the start line down there, which we're going to have a quick look at in a moment. And it uh, looks like Brad now is, he's going to start. He's got a really bad shoulder. 
and he was debating whether to drop out but he's gonna try and just pladdle round And there's Grant Church. Oh. The pits now, the crew are coming and putting all their tools down. And I just carry that down here and no, it's not ours. Yeah, it is. I just carried that and that was heavy. This guy here is bringing his sandwiches and his beer. But why is this? Signing on's going on down here and there's uh, Digger. Digger's here. Digger Off Road Racing. They've now changed his name to Enduro. We'll have to look later. I'm just going to show you what it is actually like walking. It's a balancing act. It is uh... Here he is. Well, the sun is coming out really nice now, but it is quite blinding, so it'll be quite difficult riding in that, I think. Here's Glen Rambo coming down in his Q7. Q7 off rolling. Here's Wimpy. You can see Wimpy today in his bright orange. And he's coming to take on Ryan Cox. I tell you what, I think that.
Is that right? Four years going up to. I had to wait for the road. Dancing skills have been very impressive and it's been a real challenging day so well done to you all. We'll start the results with a novice class and in third place with 10 laps is number 394 Jake Hurley. Jake Hurley! And in second place, with 10 laps, number 272, Michael Jones. Now then, this is Michael Jones. This guy here come fourth in the World Downhill Championship. Well done. And he comes second in CDR with the City Championship. Which, hey, which is hardest? <laughs> <laughs> and the winner of the novice class with 10 laps, number 369, Damien Close. Hey, fresh from his CTR training school last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> now having the win. <laughs> well done, Damien. Hey, was it the easy win or was it the close win? Hey? Was it the easy win or was it the close win? I just mean it's close. Aye! <laughs> so 
Go then. <coughs> we will now go to the um, over 50 class. And in third place with nine laps, number 510, Phil George. <laughs> Rocky, what's going on, boy? Ben, what are you up to? Phil George isn't here. I know. I did not tell him. In second place in the over 50s with 10 laps. This is impressive laps with these boys. Right? It's not easy getting up to bed when you're over 50. <laughs> Into 10 laps, number 500, Richard Holland. Rocky, look at Bob. You've got to be quicker. <laughs> Who's taking photographs today? Bob Mullins. Ah. He's doing the news, Bob Mullins. And <laughs> Ray, from Road Runner. Ray from roadrunnerphotography.co.uk. <laughs> and also, videoing today was... Bad Facebook, you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> TG will be doing it. <coughs> Where am I? I forgot, what, Dan doing it forgot what I was doing. What are they doing? This are the winner of the over 50s class. Back with a vengeance. We've had 11 laps, <laughs> smiling all the way because it was shitty weather. Number 574, Adrian yeah. Handsome Evans. Back on the podium, top spot. Oh, that handsome bike. On a new bike as well today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Craig told me he was a 250 though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a nozzle? Have <laughs> a nozzle in the box. Whatever. He's not again out of bed today, he's again out of bed tomorrow, isn't it? We'll do the vet club my next. And in third place with seven laps, 408, Kerry Nicholas. Oh, thank you, buddy. <coughs> Hell of a race. <laughs> I won't be getting out of bed with easy in the morning and all that. <laughs> Was it a race? Oh, well, you know, a bit of dancing. Well done, Kerry. Well done, Kerry. Second place, and he abused me all day long. Oh. Now he's happy, he's smiling, and glad he did it, and said it was most enjoyable. Second place in the Vets Clubman with eight laps, number 411, Paul Martin. Who's me all day, you did? <laughs> gonna kill you, gonna kill you, I hate you. <laughs> Do you want a nozzle? <laughs> Make sure your tops are screwed on tightly. Well done, Paul. Right, the winner of the Vets Clubman class with nine laps, number 405, Chris Tenby. <laughs> well done, young man. Well done, Chris, one nozzle. Well done, Chris. Who's never fucking win? Tired, I'll be you don't get any ideas about rain dancing, man. Yeah, you have to fucking do it. I want a big edge, you know. Oh, cheers, Bob. Oh, nice job, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Have done there? Done there? Clubman class. <laughs> and in third place with ten laps. <laughs> Stunt boy. Number 52, Richard Baxter. Well done, Mark. Well done, Richard Baxter. Why are you making me stuck white? Why did you do that? Because stage fright, did it? <laughs> well done, Baxter. One nozzle. Well done, Richard Baxter. Second place in the Clubman class with 12 laps. Number 111, 
Ryan Cox. Right. Well done, Ryan. We got a new kid on the block winning the clubman class by you. Woo. With 12 laps, number 95, Tom Herring. <laughs> New to see the all events, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well done, Tom. Yeah. Nozzle. Yeah. Well done, Tom. You did. Did you see how far you were in the pond? Left hand there, wasn't it? Just check out you, right? Isn't Right, here we go, right, listen to Captain Chaos, number two, because Richard Lewis normally trumps that. Third place in the over 50s is your big round of applause, Phil George. <laughs> yeah, you drink it, wash your mouth, but swear it. <laughs> Do you want to know what you said? Fucking drink well it. Well, this boy is well, Carl. Carl, well, this boy for filming things around Yeah, hey, more. hey, big round of applause to yeah. Zach, his and boy, how old is he? Jack. 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 Oh, hi, Jack. 13, 13, he's 13. 13, he's well, on man. an RM85, and he completed his event all day to the end. And also, he was in the pond at one stage. <laughs> <laughs> and he, we dragged him out, but kept yeah, going. he kept going. Well done to Jack. <laughs> right then, guys. <laughs> the vet experts. And in third place, with 11 laps, number 460. Martin Prosler Jones. Again, him, right? Well done, good work. Yeah, well done. He was the winner of the winner of the skid into the pits championship as well. Close second was Rooster. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Second place in the Vet Experts with 12 laps. Number 469, Ryan Leary. Oh, he got Dave. Shh, everyone quiet. Good boy, Dave. Good boy. Yeah, come on. Busting to bite me and he'll die. <laughs> <laughs> well done, right in. <laughs> Big round of applause to the winner of the vet experts with 13 laps. Number 499, Grant Captain Churchill. <laughs> Well done, Grant. Well done, Grant. Well done, Grant. Well, done. well done, well done, boys. Dead experts. Well done. <laughs> Results overall for the event today and the experts. And in third place with 14 laps, number nine, Roger Holland. Come on, Roger, pull your piece, sir. 14 laps, he's got third place in the overall today. The bike problems. Do a nozzle. Well done, Roger. Second place, fought his way up to second place here. Kept charging on. <laughs> With 15 laps, number five, Brad Williams. Well done, Brad. 
<laughs> and he's break dancing in the middle. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done, Brad. Get a nozzle. Get a nozzle. Yeah. <laughs> Not like this, Can you do the running, man? Yeah. Well done, Brad. Well done, Brad. Well done, Brad. Let's lift the roof off for the winner today. Outstanding performance. From start to finish, kept on charging away. The winner today with 15 laps, number eight, number two, Charlie Frost. Well done, Charlie. <laughs> Slept a night in the lay-by as well. Yeah. No eating. <laughs> Gypsy style, yeah. <laughs> Can you do running, man? No. No. Well done, Charlie Frost. Well done, everyone. Thank you for coming. Yeah. See you all on the 12th of December. Have a big day.